morning, everybody. Welcome to Rise and Shine. You know, I want you to know everything. There's so many things that God just gives you, but that is some of the desires of your heart and the thirsty of your soul will have to be pursued. You see, it pursued, it happened to David. He had to go and pursue. You see, he was at the, the worst time of his life and somebody came and an uh, enemy came and took his family, took his children, took his food, burned his camp down. And I want you to know, Jesus wants us to recover everything that Satan has stolen, everything. And he wants all of our stuff back. You see, the full intent was after Trinity, after the Trinity, Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, after the cross, the original tent, after God said, light be, is for you to pursue. And it shows that in Genesis, pursue. Now I want you to give you a scripture in 1 Samuel 38, which is the pursue scripture that it should touch your heart. I needed this this morning and I think you need this too. David was asking after his enemy had stole everything. He said, Lord, should I inquire? Should I, should I, I'm going to inquire of the Lord and almighty God, shall I pursue after that troop? Shall I overtake them? And this is what God answered him. And the same thing he's answering us today. He says, pursue and take all. Surely overtake them and you will not fail. Recover all. You see, God told David, go out and get your stuff back. Don't let Satan have it. It doesn't belong to him. There's some things that we just let Satan steal from us. And are we let Satan put fear on us? So we fall out of what God wants us to do, how he wants us to be. You see, because of fear in your life that Satan has put on you, you've lost so much. Sometimes you lose your peace. Sometimes you, you end up not doing the things that you want to do because you're so fearful. And then there's also your health. Satan has stole your health. Go back and command, demand that your health be restored, that this is something that Satan has stolen and you demand it back. Pursue God, pursue Jesus, pursue him so he can release you from the enemy's bond. Re pursue God so he will give you all of your stuff back. You have the power over Satan because in John it says, he who lives in me is greater than he who is in this world. You have the power to overcome Satan, restore your stuff, pursue, overtake, take all. That's what the word is today. Pursue. Don't let Satan take away the things that God has given you, your children, your family, just the sickness that's run through generations in my family, diabetes, hurt pain in your back, in your feet, liver conditions, kidney conditions, things that you never realized were going to come over you. Pursue, take all, pursue God and take what, take back what is yours because God wants you to have it. He never wanted Satan to have it. His intent, his whole intention was to us to have victory, victory for your life. Do not let Satan steal your stuff. Pursue Jesus, pursue God and let's see what happens if your stuff will be returned. Fight the enemy and keep on fighting till your stuff comes back. I don't want fear in my life. I don't want anxiety in my life anymore. I do not want doubt in my life. I want to know that God is your God is my God and He is there for me. So I'm gonna pursue God. I'm gonna pursue His presence. I'm gonna pursue in prayer like I've never pursued before. Because that's what gives you the victory. Pursue Jesus because that's what David did. David pursued God so he could pursue the enemy. That's the way the kingdom works. Pursue God. Restore all of your stuff that the Satan has stolen. Let me pray for you because I think sometimes he's stolen some, some, something from you, your health, maybe anxiety he's put on you that kept you from, from achieving just simple things. Being overwhelmed sometimes is so from Satan to get you confused feeling unworthy. These are all things that hold us back from pursuing God. These are things that hold us back. Busyness hold us back from pursuing God. So I want us to release all the things 
that Satan has put on you emotionally and start recovering your health, start recovering your finances, start recovering the, all the things and the blessings that God has given you. He's, Satan has taken away the, the simple blessings that your inheritance is for you. Let me pray for you. Oh, Heavenly Father, I come against, I come, Lord God, to pursue you, and I come against Satan. I want to pursue you, Lord God, and I want to pursue you in your word that says that I am healed by your stripes. I want to pursue and believe deeper than I ever have before that you are my God, and if I would only believe, I would see your glory. So, Lord God, I'm asking for your presence to be in my life. I want to know that your presence is here. I want to hear your voice, Lord God. I, will, I need healing for this body and this neck and in this back, Lord God, and, and these shoulders that hurt and my neck that hurts. I command all inflammation to leave this body in Jesus' mind. I command clarity of thought. Depression has to leave in Jesus' name. I cover my mind with the blood of Jesus and with the presence of God. I can pursue, Lord God, you and to know you more deeper, deeper than I've ever had before to have more of an intimate relationship with you, Lord God, because you said your word is healing to my soul. So Lord God, I thank you for healing my body, for the miracles I'm gonna see when I pursue you. I thank you, Lord God, for you in my life and the victory that you have given me. Amen and amen. Go out, pursue what's yours. Remember, this is Rise and Shine. I'll see you tomorrow on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Look me up and I'll see you tomorrow.